Welcome everyone to another episode of Coral Living. Tonight we are talking about judgment and to be provocative, I'll say right off the front, your judgments of others are killing you and they've killed me in the past too. When you make judgments of other people, when you make an absolute opinion, verdict, you establish within yourself a moral bar that now you better keep. And if you're going around judging people all the time, you're eventually going to break that moral code that you set within yourself. And then you're going to end up wondering why you're feeling anxious and depressed and unsure of yourself because there are internal lies boiling, boiling up within you. And well, we do this show because we don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen to me because I've been guilty of it. And uh, I think uh, it's I'm okay with it. Better, <laughs> you're better with judging people. Uh, yeah, there it's and but you know what? Not all judgments are bad. You can positively judge someone. You might be able to just make a critique of a situation, a judgment on a situation. But what I'm talking about are these judgments that we're doing when we're going around. Uh, and we maybe we don't even know why we're doing it. We have something unsettled within ourselves, but we see something, we see someone do something that we don't like, and we've got our moral standard that we think, hey, I don't like what that person's doing. And then, you know, we make a critique and maybe we talk about them behind their back, which is a whole nother thing that can end up getting you. So, if I judge somebody for stealing a bag of Cheetos, then I guess who can't steal Cheetos when they feel like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Don't steal Cheetos, folks. Don't steal Cheetos. No, but there is something to be said, I think, about um, your own sense of peace and being comfortable in your skin. Um, I think you're going to be hard pressed to feel comfortable with yourself. And you know, if you're if you're walking around judging people all the time. Um, how the heck are you supposed to not assume that others are judging you as well? You know? Exactly. Like, how are you supposed to not assume that the same, to the same degree you're being judged? Now, like, I kind of think we are in a judgmental society. I think there is. Are we also not judgmental creatures? It's like within our nature to make an assessment on Right, but it situations. boils down to the same thing as always. You know? It, how do you want to feel? You know, that maybe there's a time to be hyper judgmental, but if you want to break from that, if you want a vacation from being in judgment world, then ease up your judgment on other people. And, you know, you, you, you probably won't judge yourself as harshly and you probably won't have so much social anxiety thinking that everybody's judging. Like, you know, if you go into a situation saying they're going to be thinking this, first of all, you're judging them, you know, and second of all, you know, you're you're going to be going with bad vibes and people pick up on that. Sort Is that of kind of like an introverted? Like I'm judging if, if people if, pick if up you, on that. Sort if you were more introverted, do you think that would be like a thing that introverted people do more? Yes, than? yes. That, like a, introverted people are way more, in my opinion, likely to be socially anxious and and judgmental and all kinds of different things. You know, it's like a cause. Just thinking about like, oh, I think this person's thinking this thing about me. Yeah, I would think that's way more likely to be an aspect of an introvert rather than an extrovert. Extroverts are like out. You know, they're out in the world. And the, are they the ones going around the loud, obnox obnoxious person yes. at the party being like, hey, yeah. don't you, don't do that. And uh, <laughs> But they're only doing that for attention. I know that that's what they're doing. <laughs> so that's why I stay quiet. <laughs> like, it's a power move. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Judge not, lest ye be judged, yeah. as the Bible that's says. Good, it, right? That's a good scripture. No, Judging. definitely good to be judged. You know, something to, to, to think about. You know, we talk about a lot of spiritual subjects on this channel. So if we're going all eternal with it, uh, maybe there's something to be said with that. There's lots, you know, that people have to say about karma and coming back and living out the awfulnesses that you just so harshly judged or the penalties, eternal penalties. Now, I can't prove any of it, but I do think there's something good to, like, ruminate on there, kind of like think about uh, how I'm judging someone and how it could be 
possibly ruining my life or negatively affecting me? And why do I pick some things more than others? What is it? Why is it that some one thing that is equally might be considered uh, dumb or immoral or something? Why does one thing stick out to me more than another thing that is both within my vicinity? I could totally take, pick that thing, but I picked that. I picked this one. Is it something that's going on within me? Is it possibly maybe there's something that uh, it, it, it sparks or hits a nerve within myself because maybe I'm guilty of doing that thing? Sure, like let's, let's, let's create a fake scenario here. Let, there's a person and they wear very muted colors and they you know, wear expensive clothes, but they want to appear professional like a pro professional adult. And they go somewhere, and they see someone wearing very loud colors. They're they're very <laughs> out and expressive, and they're like, you know, what, what are you seven? You know, what are you, what are you yeah. idiot? <laughs> Meanwhile, maybe within them, they would they're longing to be expressive like that. But someone along the way said that that's just that's an attention that's an attention seeking person. You know what I mean? Like they were part of a group of people that were judging someone very harshly. You could do that with every single judgment that there is. Yeah. Laziness, all kinds of different things. I only gave two examples. I'm, yeah. Don't think on your judgments. Know. That's good. No, Th what we should be saying is think about your judgments. Go back. Go back in your your day, your week, your year, and see who you've most you know you've judged the most harshest, and pick that apart. That might be actually a growing tool to help you fix some of that and find out maybe what's going on within yourself. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, in the self-reflection category of things or introspection, but definitely some uh, something worth taking note of. Now, in the last uh, episode we did on Coral Living, go check it out. It's called A Near-Death Experience and the Birth of a Christian Mystic. We had our great guest Peter Panador on. Uh, and we, he talked a little bit about, in his near-death experience, uh, about not God judging him, but himself judging him, judging himself. He was his own judge, and it was awful. And not only did he have to, you know, see all the hurt that he had ever done, uh, but he had to feel all the pain that he had caused others. Right. Uh, and I can't validate whether that's true or not, but it's definitely worth thinking about. Right, yeah, th this was his account of a near-death experience where he would, had gone to the other side, and yeah, he, he, instead of God judging him, he was judging himself, and he deemed himself guilty, or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, it was, it, his, his resolve was that he, he was found guilty in his own eyes yeah. of, you know, and from what I gather, he hadn't even been, he was, sounded like he had a regular life leading up to then. Like, not, like, yeah. nothing crazy, not a bad guy or anything, but, um... It was intense. Right. And so, I mean, this might just be how the psyche works, you know? It, it, it may, there's a cause and effect and a, and a result of every decision and action and probably every thought. So if you're going around judging things, you're going to, like you said, have to hold yourself up to that same standard, or there's going to be, you know, incongruencies in your mind, and that can cause all kinds of trouble. I like the stuff Dad Dad used to say to us, like, uh, to, to kind of keep us in our place. When you, if, if you're one of those people who just loves, you know, picking someone apart and, you know, blobbing all over the place... Imagine if your entire life was put up on a billboard for everyone to see. Every thought, every misdeed, everything. It would be the most horrifying experience of all time. There would be no one who would be able to be like, Well, my board's clean. My board's clean. Well, that is a humbling <laughs> practice for sure. To, to, yeah. to do that, like, I actually, in preparation for this, was kind of thinking in terms of that. And I was like, oh, it'll lead you to gratitude. You know, if you yeah. think about everything, if you turn the judgment from outwards towards yourself, next thing you know, you're like, thank God anyone deals with me. You know, like, <laughs> but 
uh, and this is me judging others, sometimes I, I, my judgment is that other people don't do that same thing or have, don't have the capacity to do that, but what do I know? Maybe they're doing the same thing and they, they kind of have their waves of self-importance followed by waves of humility, you know? Um, it's, you know, it's a, that, that's a harsh judgment that I, that I struggle with passing on to people is that they would, that they would have such a thick self-delusion that they would never be able to look at their own lives objectively, you know, and, and, and see well, part of done. part of the judgment practice for I would say like the people who are hyper judgmental, uh, I think it works as a distraction mechanism. Like there's no it, it, like while you're out there criticizing and and making opinions and conclusions about everything, uh, that doesn't leave any time for any inner work, any time to take uh, note of your deeds and the stuff that you've done in your life. Yeah. And uh, just use that billboard example if you need to ever be humble, uh, because it's horrifying to think that that could be the case. But you know, maybe one day with Neuralink that will be the case. Uh oh, uh oh. That's your homework yeah. assignment: <laughs> is to uh, not clear your internet search history. Yeah. <laughs> show show somebody. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine uh, everyone was hooked up to Neuralink, and all of a sudden they pushed one button online, and everyone's everything in their minds just went. <laughs> They're like looking into the Ark of the Covenant. And everybody's faces would melt. I think we'd all just have our. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sounds awful. But one of the things uh, I also liked in the interview we had with Peter uh, was that he said when he looked away from himself and he looked at like kind of the infinite nature or God or whatever, it was love looking back at him. He said when he, when he, when he stopped looking at himself and he started looking at God and everything like that, uh, there was mercy. There was empathy. And I think that's the heart of kind of like where I want to take this is that Mer all of us could do to do with a little more understanding and mercy and compassion uh, because we don't know what other people have gone through to get to the point where they are now. All the like it might seem trivial to you, it might seem simple that like why didn't they just do it this way? It's so obvious and easy. Maybe to you it is, but maybe not to them. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go through. You don't know if they had abuses or misguidances or anything. Maybe you're just smarter. And is it fair to... Well, here's, here's a question. How is your judgment making you feel? Right? Yeah. So that, that seems like, oh, come on. That's a throwaway thing. But really think about it here. Next time you're judging, try to observe. You know, separate yourself a little bit and try to see how you feel in the moment that you're judging something. Do you feel dirty? Do you feel, you know, good about it? Because I think off, sometimes the, the idea is that you get a sense of superiority from judging, but look a little deeper. I think almost always, if you, if you examine yourself, you'd be like, I, I feel sort of guilty. I feel sort of bad. No matter who you're judging. It could, yeah, yeah, could be a heinous crime, but your harsh judgment of that, you know, because we are all humanity here. Yeah. We're, we're, we're all like, you know, we're, we're the same freaking species here. Yeah. And so, I don't know. There's, like you said, there's reasons for everything. It doesn't mean everything's permissible. It's not. You yeah. know, not everything, you know, there should be uh, consequences to your actions. But that judgment that you're harboring, you know, how does it make you feel? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think if you, anyone thinks about it long enough, you know, I, I don't know, I don't get some kind of a kick off of like, you might, maybe it gives you a little bit of adrenaline rush in the beginning to be like, aha, especially if there's a bunch of people around who affirm what you're saying, they're like, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. And then, you know, that's when it even gets worse. Yeah, but what level uh, of consciousness are you working with? Yeah. Are you absent-minded? <laughs> are you foolishly, you know, flapping your gums? Or are you solemn and, and thinking about it deeply with a yeah. lot of awareness applied to it. You know, yeah. you never know you could be crushing someone. 
you know, especially if you're very verbal or vocal about it, and you need to tell that person how they should have done it or what they should be doing. Yeah. You know, that could just be making it worse, you know, especially if there's no empathy or no love there. Uh, I don't know, have you ever heard the story of the, the lady at the airport who bought the chocolate pretzel bag? She goes, she sits down to wait for her plane. She puts the bag down. She opens the bag up. And uh, she starts she starts eating the, the chocolate pretzels, and there's a guy sitting beside her, and he just dips his hand in and pulls one out, and he eats one. And the lady's thinking, she doesn't say anything, she's like, did that guy just take one of my damn pretzels? And and she continues to eat her pretzels, and then the guy, the guy just keeps dipping in, and he looks over and he smiles <laughs> at her. He smiles at her, and he eats the chocolate pretzels. And then she's like, I can't believe the gall of this guy. He's just eating all my damn pretzels. didn't even ask. And then uh, they, the plane gets called on. They go onto the plane. She goes on, gets in. She sits down in her seat, and she pulls up her purse, and she opens her purse, and her chocolate pretzels are in her purse. Yeah. So, you know, she was, you know, losing her mind, but, you know, she didn't know when she was judging this guy being so harsh on him, even though he's smiling at her right. while she's eating his damn pretzels. Right. So that's a, that's kind of like a cute little story. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going deep. That situation with pretzels, if you're an intelligent person, that's who I'm talking to here, you will realize that that is literally the case with every single judgment that you make. You do not know the whole story. Who the hell are you to be judging anyone? Now, I'm not talking about rules and stuff that keep society together. That's like, that's not what I mean. But the act of judging other people and their, their decisions, like demonizing is what I'm talking about. Yeah. That is not a good idea to do. It's, yeah. it's, I think it's negative to your own psyche in the end. It's going to cloud your judgment making abilities, you know? Yeah. To, to unfairly be assessing situations and jumping to conclusions about things. You know, like that is a, that, that story, as simple as it is, there's like, it's pretty darn deep if you were to take some time to actually think about it. Yeah. You know, how often that sort of thing happens. There's a million stories like that. Yeah. Most people have a story like, have a story like that. <laughs> you know, I was in a movie theater one time. I don't even know if I should tell this one. Ah, screw it. <laughs> we don't have a big go, enough audience go, that I need go, to be worried. Go. We were in a theater one time, and uh, it was for like an X-Men movie or something. And this guy sits down behind me, and he's like, the credits are going, he's like, oh, credits! I'm like, okay, that's weird. And he's <laughs> like, that's Wolverine! You know, and I'm like, just like a normal voiced man, yeah. but like talking like that, right? And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And he's like... Oh, here comes the bad guy. Just making a commentary on everything. Yeah, yeah. And I was about to like turn around and you know say something to this guy. Yeah. And there was a whole row of people that had come on like a bus of like mentally disabled people yeah. that were in the theater for like a some kind of a field trip from a group home or something, yeah. right? And it's the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. So if that can happen in a very surface level, if that can, if that occurrence can happen in those simple things. You know, it's like you start off with math by learning two times two, and then it progressively gets more complicated, right? Yeah. Take this small example as a reminder for the bigger things when you're looking at people and don't understand their decisions. You know, it's like, well, then what are we even talking about? This is irrelevant. We got rules. You know, you know, who cares how I feel? Who cares about this? You ought to do this, and you ought to do that. But ought you to? You know, how many things are you judging yourself, and and it, that are misguided about life and how to live how much are you judging your own self you know and yeah. how much joy is it bringing you do you have a spare minute you know do you have any time during the week to to think about your life and take away the the, the pre-programmed judgments about things and look at everything from an objective standpoint and decide what is best for you oh. you know and and have some compassion for other people the world is going the way of compassion and empathy towards others. And that's a good thing. Despite the efforts of some people that are like, no, nothing should change, you know? You know, feelings are for wussies, you know? As much as there are still people like that out there, yeah. um, this is the way progressive society is going, is a more understanding 
society. Well, I think that's all a great positive track for humanity to be, to be headed in. Uh, what do you guys think? You know, uh, we're, we are so thankful for all your support. Uh, leave comments. If you watch this full episode, leave comments. Hit the likes. We want to know what you guys think. We want to know. Uh, we will respond. Uh, if there are subjects that we can expand upon or add to and things, and when, when we have these topics and stuff like that, we're, we want it. We want to hear it. So uh, give us your info. And if you like the episode, people, uh, you know, don't forget to you know, hit the like, subscribe, share this with your friends, guys. We're new. And any new YouTube channel, it's hard to get your name out there. It's hard to get going. So like, if you can share with your friends all that stuff, uh, because we love doing this content. I like this is my side thing that I do uh, outside of my work. And I know Justin, he's got his side thing. Uh, when you're new and you're small like this, you need the support of everyone to build it up and to keep it going. So uh, anything that you can do to, to to help bolster the channel, sharing it with friends and stuff like that, talking about it, leave comments. Just a simple comment or like that will help the channel. I gotta yeah. give a shout out to Den Keeper, man. He yeah. gives us quite a bit of attention. Like, yep, you're awesome, Den Keeper. <laughs> He's got a good channel. Yeah, you know, go check out Den Keeper. He's yeah. got an interesting channel, very similar to s sort of things we talk. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. With his own flair to it. You can find him in our channels list. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you for all your support, everyone. And uh, I guess we will see you in the next one. And so, until next time, folks. Stay, stay spiritual. spiritual.